Good evening. I know.
So we are live, we are back, we are back, we are back again. And uh, technical, some little technical so issues. Back, and I'm making back. sure I am live here also here on my device. And, uh, so since we are on good night good night every single one of you awesome awesome nights i want you to start i want you to start sharing i want you to start sharing this live i mean uh, you have been an awesome 30 days awesome 30 days and the last day today is the closing of our chicken campaign we have a treat for you we have a treat a treat a treat for you right now I want you to start sharing. I want you to start sharing. I want you to start sharing. Uh, we are getting our guests ready. We had some little technical issues behind the scene, but uh, I want you to start sharing this live. And um, I want you to start sharing. I want you to start sharing, share, share, share with all your audience, share, share, share with all your audience. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I see you coming. I am seeing your comments. Tell us where are you coming from right now? Tell us where are you tuning in from? Good night, good night, Mrs. Bolago Paul. Good night, good night. Beside the technical, little technical issues that we had at the very beginning, we are getting ready. Good night, um, Mr. Bernard. Um, um, yes, Karian Bernard. Good night, good night, good night. Good night to you, uh, Miss Candice. Maglo, thank you, thank you for being with us. And tonight, as you could see, I am so excited, I am so fired up because tonight actually I have a treat for you. A treat, a treat is the closing of our chicken campaign. And our, our guest is right there, ready, ready, ready to come on stage. And this awesome entrepreneur. I mean, I have known her for a number of years, actually, let me tell you. My name is Lucia Carrera Jones, co-founder and CEO of Women Owned Media and Education Network. And uh, this is the day number 30 of our Chicken campaign. Tell your friends, tell all the ladies and all the gents who are also entrepreneurs that we are live. You could actually uh, like us and follow us right here, right here. And remember, Remember that this is a platform where you are going to get the best of the best. We also want to hear from you and um, technical difficulties and little technical issues will not, not at all kill our spirit. This is the spirit of women. This has been the spirit of the She Can campaign, our session, Let's Talk Entrepreneurship. And this is our last session tonight. So tonight we have someone that is so dear so dear to my heart actually this young lady was introduced to me by one of our very own um guests interviewed uh, the journalist did dennis allen akataye and she was the first social media manager that i had in this entrepreneurship career she did an awesome and amazing job um we become so so close that she moved from being a social manager and a peer to actually become my good good friend i seen that she's there back on stage because i am about i am about to drop this she is also on the entertainment industry uh, uh she is a pr public relations she is a, a, a social media manager um she's a writer of, of music um she's also uh a, an artist an actress in the in the big movies and and what's not i mean what more can i say but uh, before i bring her i want to make sure that no one is going to be left behind behind i want to make sure that nobody is going to miss out we had some little little technical difficulties at the very beginning but please go right now go right now uh welcome 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 reverend joyce lynn hello hello good night thank you for being here with us you know we we have a, a, an awesome awesome um conversation today with um uh, reverend jocelyn so you will see you will be seeing her very very soon in future programs in our platform so 
these technical difficulties rob us of a little bit of time, but I don't want to rob you of no more. I want to bring right now on stage someone that uh, it is going to bless you because you saw her already on our platform. Her message was a powerful, powerful message for entrepreneurs. She got a lot of remarks on her first appearance on this campaign, and she did an amazing, amazing job to open up this campaign for us. Hi guys, it's your girl Missy, Trinidadian media personality, and I'm here representing for the She Can campaign. My advice for all female entrepreneurs is to keep going and know that she can conquer. She can start late and still be a success. She can start over and still be a success. The only person stopping you from being a success is you. And by the grace of God, any and everything is possible. So she can conquer. She can overcome. She can endure. She can be persistent. She can be resilient. And she can persevere. So my advice, you guys, keep going. Hit that reset button and restart button as many times as you need to. The only thing you're not allowed to do is to quit on yourself and to give up. And to take it a step further, encourage your fellow female entrepreneurs and let them know that we are all in this together. And that was a powerful message from no other than Nikisha Nikki Cyrus welcome to this awesome platform welcome we are so <laughs> delighted to have you tonight <laughs> <laughs> thanks for having me it was a little awkward watching myself speak as much as i do this for a living it's still awkward seeing myself on a screen <laughs> <laughs> well that is that is one of the things that uh, you just said it this is one of the things that you actually do for a living but you know what uh in humbleness in your humbleness uh, there's always much message and i was telling the audience how we actually met you was yeah. actually my first social media manager and it's when i get to know that you was also part of this entertainment industry so huge so but i want you to tell this audience who is nikisha nisi cyrus well, firstly, Nakisha Missy Cyrus is a child of God, right? <laughs> um, I'm a creative. Um, I dabble in entertainment. Um, I'm, I love everything entertainment, arts, media, um, music, fashion, theater. Um, by profession, I am a media personality. I work across um, three of the main platforms from television, radio, and I also write. I'm a journalist, I'm a blogger, entertainment blogger. And I do, um, I dabble in marketing. I have a social media company and I do like PR. And I also have a motivational blog, Missy Will, that I do motivational speaking. And I also like to sing <laughs> on the side. <laughs> and so, yeah. that is amazing. You are actually a woman of many, many hearts. And I mean, such a humble person with all of these hearts that you actually wear. You are so humble, Nikki. I mean, I remember spending um, hours, actually, when you told me uh, we are going to meet just for one hour, but we end up spending hours talking at my home, and we end up going together for KFC. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a foodie. I love my belly. I love my belly. Yes, I know, but you are such an amazing 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 soul but i Thank know you. that uh, from the little conversation that we had before that um in your life not all the time was the way it is now i want you to tell us as an entrepreneur and as a female entrepreneur who actually is into this uh, huge industry tell yeah. us how it happened how you break through this uh, giant Okay, so I always knew as a child that I wanted to be in entertainment. I didn't know how I was going to be here, but I just knew that I need to be on a stage. I just like the spotlight. I like my um, hosting and stuff like that. And um, growing up in a family that nobody in my family did anything 
near to entertainment. So I didn't have the role, the immediate role models. But um, television came in handy because what I didn't see growing up, I was able to see via the media. And um, I took it to my mom one day. And, but because, like, as I said, growing up in a household where they weren't um, doing it off the bat, they, as much as they wanted to support, it was like a bit like, okay, she's dreaming, it's big. I don't know if she could, you know, I don't want her to get disappointed so bad she could do something safe. So I went into corporate Trinidad. Um, I actually started off working in the police service. I worked in the IT department for four years. Um, yes. <laughs> and was this close to joining the force. <laughs> right? Um, and even back then, like, still doing the um, media and entertainment stuff on the side, I would leave work early to go do um, television jobs, um, modeling stuff. Sometimes I'm calling in sick, saying I'm, I'm sick and they see me on TV. <laughs> So uh, after a while, it got a bit hectic trying to juggle it, trying to juggle both hats. And I just remember waking up one day, getting ready for work as normal, going into the office. And while I'm on the computer, I just decided to write my resignation letter <laughs> and just hand it to my um, supervisor at the time. She was so surprised because it came out of nowhere. We never had a conversation about it, but I just felt like if I really wanted to do the things that I was doing, splitting my time before between an eight to four, and the stuff that I know I'm born to do, the things I'm really passionate about, it was becoming a bit overwhelming. And I just decided to give myself a year to go for it. That was in 2014. <laughs> right? Um, history, huh? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the year was a bit challenging, to be honest, because I didn't think this through. I didn't have the, the cushion, the safety net, the fine, you know, how to say, like, save up six months. <laughs> And then quit your job if you wanted to. I, I just, I was always an impulsive person. Like I never gave myself time to think things through. That worked in my favor, but sometimes against it. <laughs> because I feel like when you give yourself time to think things through, you could talk yourself out of something. So I used to cut that out of the process for me. So I'm either just in it and figuring it out <laughs> or I'm not doing it at all. So that works for me. Now, Looking back, I would not advise a person to do that because it was really, really challenging for me financially. What I would um, advise is have a plan. If you, even if you have an eight to four job and you want to leave, give yourself a plan. Like, okay, I'm going to really buckle down and save for six months so that even if I leave, I have at least three to six months of cash that I could float around with so you don't have the overwhelmingness of how you're going to pay bills and stuff like that because you don't want to be tempted to go back into it before that you just left, right? So that's my advice for the leaving the job. Don't just leave a job on a whim. It, <laughs> I'm a very impulsive person, something I'm learning to um, overcome now. But it worked for me back then because throwing myself into the ocean and, and, and burning any boat works for some people. But some people might need to, you know, take things at their own pace, have a plan and really stick to it. But having a plan comes with discipline because you can't say, okay, in six months time, I'm going to leave my job. And then six months pass, you're not doing anything about it. And then when the six month mark are reach, you can't leave your job. <laughs> you understand? So um, it was a, it was really kind of hard back and forth for me because I said because I didn't give myself that space to have that cushion of financial stability. So I'm figuring out the path for like entertainment and stuff while I'm still doing like odd ends job to kind of make ends meet a bit. And um, I think that kind of gave me an extra push because it's like all or nothing, you know. Um, and me just having the mindset that I have, um, always trying to stay positive, even when days are tough. <laughs> um, networking was a big, big part of that. I think there's nobody in Trinidad that I don't know directly or don't know how to get onto by now. I, I was queen network. Every event <laughs> I would go to, and not just go to for the entertainment part of it, but go to and walk around and introduce myself to all the movers and shakers. Y'all gonna know me one way or the other. <laughs> one way or the other. Um, so networking was a very, very big part because Trinidad is very small. That works in our advantage as entrepreneurs because it's easy to get on to people. It's easy, as I said, if I don't know you directly, I know who to get on to to get on to you. Right? But not just networking, but really making meaningful, mutually beneficial relationship because it can be one sided. You can't be the type of person that always wants, wants, wants and have nothing to give. Right. So that helps me a lot in terms of like 
really making meaningful relationships, keeping it professional, because as a female entrepreneur with a bubbly personality, meeting the opposite sex, men could take that <laughs> a little <laughs> a little wrong. So knowing my boundaries and keeping it professional um, with the interactions, always in public places around everybody else, not trying to pull to the side to have conversations. No, I'm not doing dinners. <laughs> we could talk on the phone, we could have breakfast, we could have lunch, no dinners. So you also have to have that professional side of things because you don't want to be building a brand or building, um, having a public figure and it's, it don't have the integrity that goes along with it. Um, that is something, one of my core, core values. Like, you're going to know me for my talents and my skills, not for the other side. Sometimes I just forget <laughs> that I might be pretty <laughs> because I don't lead with that. <laughs> I don't lead with the looks. I lead with what's in my brain. I lead with what I have to offer. I don't want an opportunity. Even if you open the door because I'm pretty, by the time I get inside, that should be out of the door. Right? And I think for female entrepreneurs, that is a big, big thing because you want when you reach to the top that you can stand on the brand that you build. You don't want to compromise here and it come back to bite you later on in life. You don't want to do that. Yes, we may make mistakes at times, but don't make the same mistake over and over. And entertainment is a heavy male-dominated space. So if you want to be taken serious in this space, you have to enter the door with integrity. You have to enter the door with integrity. Integrity first, talent and skills after. And Nisi, you 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 have nailed in, in, in few points that I could actually identify with you because I I have a history of networking, you know, network marketing for over 10 years. And mm -hmm. you know, um sometimes when, when I was a little younger, sometimes um this also could be something that uh, gets you uh, all tossed off, you know, that you reach the air, that you are standing in this stage, that people looking at you, and then you have to actually, you know, put the boundaries. Yes, we could have a business conversation, we could have a, br a business brunch, we could have a business lunch, but we're not going out for dinner, right? What if I, I never understood that. Tell, so, like, it's so funny. I was single for like a very long time, still am. And a lot of people think I'm in a relationship because every time a guy comes to me with that, I'll be like, my boyfriend, <laughs> this imaginary boyfriend that protects me. <laughs> right? You have to find your way of creating that boundary because if you only let that slip, like, sorry to say, as I said, it's heavily driven by men. Um, it's a very sexy, sen sensual space. So you want to enter there with integrity. And that is very important. You say two things that have actually marked this life for me, at least. First, who is Nisi? First of all, is a child of God. And uh, no matter what is the space in which you actually have to move, because at the end of the day, that is your job, you have to actually keep that in mind. So I want to ask you this tough and provoking question, right? And because there they, they are a lot of controversies out there. Um, mm -hmm. you are a child of God and you know it could be uh, by some groups of um, you know believers and what's not a little like she's in this industry and she's a child of God how have you handled that if that have ever been something that have come to you well I struggled with that for a bit I'm not gonna lie um, I grew up in a Christian household. I went to all um, Seven Days Adventist primary school and secondary school. Um, so, so God was always as known to me. I didn't know <laughs> it have people in the world who don't believe in God. Like it was foreign. It was really, really foreign. Getting into entertainment and seeing different types of persons. Um, I've always been respectful of people's space. I feel like whatever, as my mom would say, you make your bed after lie. So <laughs> it doesn't affect me. I'm good. Um, but getting in ent entertainment, um, I even modeled at a point in time as well. So when you say stuff like that, people be like, how could you be in this space and doing these things? And what I have come to learn on my own personal journey with God, because it started off from a very heavy religious place and now it's a relational place, right? So um, what I've learned, God is the creator, the only creator. These things, then manifest itself on earth by, by, by out of thin air. So if he is the only creator, and I have a passion for music, I have a passion for media, I have a pa 
he created me with these desires. He created me with these things and also the playground for it. So what I would say though, um, we also have an enemy who likes to take creations and counterfeit it, mess it up. So you have to know what God intended. Go back to the drawing board of what God intended for his creation and lead from that place because it's easy to get caught up with the counterfeit. A lot of the times we get addicted to the counterfeit. And I was listening a very um, powerful sermon by Miles Monroe, the late Miles Monroe. And he said, anytime you're in a position to choose between God's law and man's law, you always choose God's law. So that is where I lead from. Like, man don't get to tell me how I live my life because they made rules. I don't know who governed any rules that they made. So if I'm ever in a place of conflict, I go back to what the creator is saying about the situation. I love your answer. I really love your answer. As, as Reverend Joyce Lynn said, amen, it's not religion, it is relationship. And you know, the reason why I ask you this is because I get to know you and love you so much from my heart. I remember when I had this broadcast that you actually was part of the broadcast as well. Uh, positive vibes. You know, yeah. you give me so much advice, you know, at that moment. And people don't know people's situation. At that moment, I was so a little down and a little depressed and what's not. And you really came in that space of my life and give me so much of your advice, of your, you share me up, and I really grow to love you so, so, so much. So I am glad, you know, I am glad that I have the opportunity now to have you in this platform and to be sharing with us. So uh, we keep talking about entrepreneurship and the challenges that come in with female entrepreneurship, and it so happened that you are in this um, giant industry, you know, Tell me what have been one of your biggest challenges as female in this industry that you had to face and actually overcome. Um, staying true to myself. Sometimes when you're on the path to success, everybody has a shortcut. Everybody thinks they know how to get there. And God, when God gives you a vision, he also gives you the direction for your vision. So not all the time people could give you direction if God alone gave you the vision, right? And I think um, for a period, I knew where I wanted to go, but I was unclear on how to get there. And I was looking for answers in a lot of the wrong places. I read a lot of books that told me, do it this way. People in similar positions giving advice. So you're just trying to grab onto to, to straws. You're just trying to grab onto something to assist. And I had to really hit pause for a bit because... The desire wasn't going anywhere, but at the same time, I knew what the walk, what, what the walk I want, how I wanted the walk to look, right? I knew that I was here for a purpose. I knew it wasn't just about being successful. Um, I knew that along the way, I wanted to impact yeah. persons. I wanted to um, support persons. I wanted to, to um, contribute to other people's visions. And I wasn't, it started to become a lot about just, taking off stuff off the, the checkbox instead of actually pursuing your purpose. So I had to kind of go back to the drawing board a bit to figure out what is my purpose? What did God intend for me in this space? And that's where the relationship side of my work with God came into play because you need to really have that relationship to understand. And God talks to his children in different ways. I'm not going to say what works for me is yours. Everybody is different. But I know we gel in. <laughs> I know I know how to I hear him clearly. I know when I'm stuck, what to look for, how to, I know our relationship dynamic. And the thing is, like across the board, if I meet a guy that I like, you're gonna want to get to know the person. You're gonna spend time with the person, you're gonna talk to the person, you're gonna go out on dates, you're gonna do those things. Why we think building a relationship with God is any different? Why we think it's just a, this kind of authoritative dynamic, you know? Um, so me getting into that space of just really making that a big part of my life as a foundation for anything that I do. I don't make a decision unless I could see God's hand in it. It's not about me anymore. And I realized with that step, everything just got easier. Like it's really, the work is still there. You don't get away from the work because you still need to teach you like discipline and focus and stuff. But the path, it just lit up. 
like my yeses are intentional my noes are noes i don't feel any regrets when i say no <laughs> no means no um it, it just got easier it just really 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 got easier and across the board it wasn't just easier in one area of your life and the other areas is chaotic like across the board for me personal professional just got across the board and i know you are an excellent professional missy i know that everything that you do you do it with passion i also know that you give from your heart you know and you give extra from your heart so again i'm so happy to have you here and if you are here in the audience i i know you are already being blessed and, and remember don't let no one miss an opportunity to see this interview right now live remember you could share this interview you could interact in, in, in this interview this is our closing this is the closing of our chicken campaign and we had so many amazing person who have been interviewed in this platform and i mean we could have not close with any uh, lower level of energy we keep that level of energy and we keep nisi here actually you know i had something prepared Nisi, but you know the technical difficulty came in actually i wanted to play one of one of one of your songs let's see how it goes before and <laughs> you could feel so the audience could actually um listen um listen to you but i want you to tell them and then now nisi um now that you are already in this wall of entrepreneurship in this particular giant yeah. and uh, i am sure that there are a lot of female talented females out there who maybe have a desire to get into this type of industry right what will be your advice at this moment you are already knowing um this this giant what is your advice for some female young female entrepreneurs that come now and want to actually get into this industry make sure that this part is aligned with your purpose um one of the hard decisions that i had to make was differentiate between purpose and passions and there's things that i'm good at um because anything that you put time and effort into you can't do right but it, when when you're matching your skills with your purpose it feels different it feels natural so make sure before you even step into this space that you're doing it for the right reasons because again a lot of people chase fame a lot of people chase success a lot of people chase money and if that is the foundation that you're leading with um when you reach in you, everybody gonna have an, a number some like you mightn't you mightn't um do stuff of uh, um, lack of integrity at the earlier stage but if you lead them with money once somebody presents the right number to you <laughs> all that goes out the door <laughs> right so what I would say is just make sure that it comes from a place of purpose um, that comes from God and your passion, when your passion and your purpose align, um, it's magical. It's really, really magical. I started off as a model and that was not my space. That was not my space. It was just about being seen. It was just about being, um, you know, the whole sex appeal and stuff because they told us that is, you know, that is what is needed. And I realized, yes, I like to take photos, but I don't like to take photos sexy photos you understand what i'm saying i don't like those type of photos but if you're part of the modeling industry it comes to the territory you understand so make sure that the stuff that you're doing is because you you have that um purpose instead of you just doing it because you think you're good at it um person selling hey you might be good in this space like everybody thinks they know everything <laughs> they don't <laughs> some people are still trying to figure out their life but want to give you advice on yours I, I, I don't understand it <laughs> make it make sense <laughs> yes make right? it make sense. So, so before you get started with anything just make sure you're doing it for the right reasons make sure you have purpose in it and you're not just convincing yourself of something else because i if i if i go to school to be a doctor i could probably be a doctor i don't have the the passion to, for medical but i could study it i could pass my exams and i could come out of school being a doctor but that don't mean that is what i'm here for you understand so make sure the things that you're doing is aligned with your purpose and passion and i love that so ensure mm -hmm. that your passion and your purpose are really aligned mm -hmm. because that is one of the reasons why many entrepreneurs fail you know sometimes they don't fail because the business that they get into and no, it's not a good business right uh sometimes 
is the business that is making money, is the business that is trending, but it's not your purpose, mm -hmm. it's not your passion. Yep. That, as Reverend say, well put together. Passion and purpose align, it is magical. And when the challenge arises, you'll get the grace to thrive. Yeah. Thank you so much for that remark, Reverend Joyce Lynn. Passion and purpose. And I think that what we have put together in these 30 days that we have been sharing with you day by day is trying for you to actually reflect on your passion and your purpose. Because that is what actually makes an entrepreneur powerful. Yeah. When you are not passionate for something and the, the boat start to get rocky, you give up. And, yes, uh, and, and one of the things that you have on your message is uh, don't give up. Whatever it happened, don't give up. So let me ask you, have you had those moments where you have felt that you want to give up? Yeah. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> um, but for me, I am not somebody who quits and I've always had the mindset of let me prove them wrong, you know. Um, I think starting off with not having support, immediate support from my family works in my favor because I started off with the mindset that let me prove them wrong. So going through life, now I just develop that skin of like when people don't believe it could happen, I just I just want to prove you wrong, <laughs> right? But over the years, it stopped be being about people and i started to be like let me prove myself right so take people out of the equation how about i just prove myself right that i believe i could do this so let me see if i could really do this you understand um yeah but definitely we've all had those periods of wanting to give up now i i take the giving up out of the equation um i could pause i could press reset i could i could have a minute just to, to see okay do i need to change the way that i'm approaching this because the, the end game is still the same but maybe the course i'm taking might be wrong when i started initially i started as an artist i was doing music media came out of nowhere and fast forward to now media has taken over the entire ship right i could see god's hand in this in terms of my purpose i still have a passion for music and funny enough me growing my brand in media helps the music because now i know how to get stuff on radio now i know where to go and record and stuff like that so it helps it really really helps but sometimes if you really fixate it on it has to be done this way and if it don't happen this way you know um you might miss the opportunities in front of you because you're just looking for what you're looking to see instead of all the other parts that lighten up nisi i mean you could you could I, I, you could read all the awesome comments i mean i am sure that you are actually touching the lives of all of bunch of women and even men entrepreneurs because um let me say this one more time in this platform women are is not a feminist organization we are women on media and education network i mean and we just celebrated because we saw the need you know we saw the need uh, and, and it's part of our mission to actually get a female who is out there feeling that she's nothing and turn that female into a superstar. I mean, okay. our, mission, our mission could be summarized on that. And I believe that in every single female, every single female have a superstar inside. And uh, all of us could do this together without competition, without tearing each other apart, without desiring, okay, because for me to arise, I have to put on someone. This platform is for this, for real and raw talks. We started on entrepreneurship, and but you, you have to stay tuned because amazing, amazing things coming through this platform. So Nisi, where people could follow you, where we can find you, where we can enjoy of your music. Tell us a little bit about the all the programs you have right now, all the shows. Oh my gosh, where do I start? Um, so let's start with Wednesday. So tomorrow I'll be um on my, my Islandville Talk, which is a show hosted by myself um and two beautiful ladies, 
Crystal Kane and Shauna, we do a program every Wednesday from 12 to 2 called Island Girl Talk. So you have come and chill with us over at OUR Radio. It's also available on um, YouTube. Um, Fridays, I normally do my entertainment live show via Caribbean Entertainment Hub, which is my entertainment website. And we do a show called The E-Hub, where we chat with local and regional um, artists and personnel in entertainment and just stay updated with them. Outside of that, I have a PR and social media company called Imperium 31 Media, where I offer PR and social media services like management, consulting, and stuff like that. I also have a motivational blog called Nisi World. So you can check me out on Instagram and Facebook with that as well. Um, and I'm also going to tell you guys a secret. I was keeping it for a while, but I feel moved to share it here. I'm in the process of writing my very first book. I'm not going to reveal the name, but it would be available in 2023. And I'd appreciate if you guys go out and support them. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And guys, you know, this is a platform where we also give you the opportunity, you know, to, to actually be featured. This is what we want. We want those very talents, you know, to actually be discovered. And as I always tell people who actually talk to me, uh, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's what we want from the the successful entrepreneurs is to actually bring out those and help out those who now now starting you know um i i tell everyone it is nice when somebody tell you as you saying right now um yes uh, well done uh, this platform uh, you have done an awesome job but it is not about women women is just a vehicle women is just a shovel to unbury you know women is just the platform that god is actually using to show you women that you have all what you need to succeed right inside of you and i was talking that um, today with with reverend jocelyn she's here and she's not going to let me lie we are just a platform. We are the platform where you are going to stand and you are going to shine. This is the platform where you are not going to compete, but you are going to complete and complement your fellow women in any issues that we could be facing. That is what we here for. So, uh, Nisi, I want... Uh, you just now entrepreneurship in general you know mm -hmm. uh what will be your stronger message beside that powerful message and, and i mean your video i'm not counting mine but your video was the video who actually opened our campaign and uh, i i played here when we started and that video got so much tracked so much like so much comments it was so positive. What is your biggest encouragement for women? We are not talking just only entrepreneurs. We're talking about women in this mm -hmm. days and age that we are living and that we still are uh, trying to have that place that we so deserved. Mm -hmm. um, I would say um, heal. And the reason I say heal, a lot of the times when we pursue things, we pursue it from a place of us feeling incomplete and we're trying to fill a void or fill a hole or something like that. So you would know whatever you're dealing with. You would know whatever traumas and triggers and stuff you're going through. Heal. Because no amount of success or accomplishment is going to fill those voids. And society need, needs women to be women. And I say that because we have a lot of women walking around looking like females but a man inside right they are masculine heavily heavily masculine and i and i think like times and societies and coming from like broken homes and stuff has forced that dynamic so that's where the healing component come into play because even though you as a female wants to be an entrepreneur and you could handle that hat there you still have a duty to your womanhood you still have a duty to being feminine and soft so if it have men out there being men and women out there trying to be men, where all the softness gone, where all the nurturing gone, that, that creates an imbalance in society. 
You understand? So yes, you could wear the hat of an entrepreneur. You could go out there and you could make money as well. Times has modernized and it has given us women the ability to do these things. But don't lose your softness. Don't lose your womanhood. Don't lose your femininity in that process. Let men be men. You don't have to compete with men. It's two different lanes. We complement each other. We don't have to complete. Um, compete, sorry. Right? So that is what I would say to lead from that place of becoming an entrepreneur. Make sure that you're whole and you're not going into it for the wrong reasons. You're not going into prove nobody wrong and all these different things. And be a female entrepreneur because that's where our power is. Don't just be an entrepreneur. Be a female entrepreneur. Approach it differently because we have things that men don't have. We see things that men can't see. We have intuition that men don't have. Right? So lead from that place. Don't go in the boardroom trying to compete and wear a bigger pants. No, be soft and lead from that place because there's power in that. Wow. Nisi, I mean, I just I I just have to bring up these comments because I want you to see, I want you to read these comments. So so true, feminine energy is so important. And and I and I say and I say this. Uh, we are not feminists, but we are females. Yes. So we have to keep that femininity. You know, we cannot get lost on a fight done with men or against men. That, that is not what right. we are here for. You know, so it is it's so important that we maintain our femininity, you know, because... Ladies, it's a very sexy tool when a guy could see a woman doing her thing and still be soft. Come on. Come on. Yeah. And I love it. I really, 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 really love it. You know, I mean, I, I you, you you find me looking at my phone because there are people who actually are already being touched and impacted and they just messaging me like, wow, where you get that lady from? Oh my God. She is so powerful. She's talking to me. You know, there are people because they know we're putting up the uh, the comments here and some of them uh will be shy to actually uh put put the, the comments there but I, I reading it here and I, I'm I'm so I'm so so glad I'm so so glad I I, I want to tell this audience that um, the success of this campaign I mean all those amazing comments we have to thank every single person who have been part of this Nisi being one of them actually Nisi um was part of this campaign in two capacities she sent a message through her video that as i as i told you i mean awesome i moved in video and now as an interviewed i mean nisi uh women wish you all 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 success uh we know that we are going to be seeing more of you because um uh, one of the things that this platform have done uh for many of us uh for me, I've been reconnecting with brilliant women like you, um, connecting actually for the first time with other amazing women and males that have passed through this platform. And I want to reiterate it again. I, I want to thank um, uh, my team uh, because this is not a Lucia thing. I want to really mention Jamie Hoyt. Um, she's, uh, you know, actually interacting in both capacities, women and Jimmy Hoyt are uh, right here. I mean, we could have, I mean, I personally would have not been able to put all of this thing together without Jimmy Hoyt. I mean, it's like awesome, awesome partner, awesome business partner, awesome entrepreneur. And um, Nikki, I mean, Nisi, you are awesome. You Thank are you. Amazing. I mean, I, I don't want to I don't want to forget no name, uh, but we have individuals who pass here. Uh we had uh we had in the interview we had um Miss Fishery, we have um Dennis, Dennis was in the Dennis, Dennis, actually I met Nisi through Dennis. We have Luke Kwamina, uh, we had um our awesome, I call her Candle Wine, is the name of her of our business, but it's Candice. We have uh Loki Pinder, we have um 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 Carla, 
Uh, we also had, I don't want to forget, but it's, it's a couple of them. Um, Jimmy, if you are there, please start to mention their names because I don't want to leave nobody nobody out. Um, they, they thank you. They thank you. Look, Dennis, wait, wait. They thank you. <laughs> out today to all of you um we have janelle we have candice mcglow um we have kissy lee uh we had uh, jimmy help me help me because uh, ladies i am excited i actually fighting the emotion i don't want to get because we are uh, a basically upcoming organization but i know strongly in my heart that this is God's doing. Amen. This is God's doing. You know, I have no doubt. After we have getting all the comments, after the quality of the speakers, the quality of the videos we have, uh, the sisters Ali, uh, Rian, uh, Rihanna and, 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 and Akimi Ali, we have Meryl Fraser also doing videos. Um, we have Gillian Craig Brito, which is my pastor also. Do Brito, we had uh, Aquila, Aquila, the pastor Aquila also, um, that came and, and graced us with her presence. An amazing, amazing, amazing interview. Um, I, I, I have so many names on, on here. Yeah, Pastor Aquila, I mentioned her, please. And if I forget your name right now, it's because I am just over excited. Yes, Candice. I call Candice Alexander. I call her Candle Wine. She has a wine business. But um, nice. but but um, just just what will be your message for women, Candice? Um, um, <laughs> Nisi, after you have seen all what have transpired during this month, what mm -hmm. is your message? And I also want you that are watching us live. Beside the compliments, what is your message for women on media and education network? I want to see it in the comments. What you want us to bring to this platform? What you want to, 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 to see from us? But I want you to tell us this in life. What is my message? Um, you have a responsibility with whatever spaces you are placed to have an impact. So leave, make sure that whatever you leave in when you interact with people is something that could uplift them and inspire and, and feed somebody positively. Or if not, just don't. <laughs> you know, you have a responsibility as much as we are entrepreneurs. Um, don't forget the responsibility part of what you're doing. You have a responsibility with your craft. You have a responsibility with your skills. Um, you have a responsibility with the way that you interact with people. You have a responsibility. So always keep that to the forefront of the service as well like what is my responsibility here because you do have like we are here to serve one another we are here to have that exchange and keep in mind that you want to you want to have a positive impact with people every time you cross paths because you don't know what people might be dealing with on a day to day and you might be that thing to turn somebody day around and that's a, 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 a that unless you cross in paths with somebody, it might be a, a simple good morning, you know. Um, you open any door for somebody who is struggling, going, you don't know what it might be, and sometimes that's that simple act of kindness or whatever form might be that thing to 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 change somebody's whole whole experience. So serve, yes, pursue success because we want to have a good life, and um, but also know that you have a responsibility with your service responsibility with our services and and we are taking that uh, very very serious we are we are really taking that at heart uh we and also to... if you do make mistakes because we all do um course correct you, i might say something now that later on might have been the wisest thing to say you do get a course correct you do get to own your mistakes you do, you do get to own up and 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 course correct as much as you can Nobody's perfect, no man is an island, but um yeah, if even if you do make mistakes, own it. Learn from it. Others might learn from it because sometimes you might make a mistake so others coming behind you don't have to, you know. So I really wouldn't take that advice very serious as I always say. 
I always look at those, those this life, I always look at them over and over um, after, and I look at them more than one. And I, I mean, I always say this, hold women accountable for our deliverables. We are not going to be, um, again, I, I, I cannot stop reiterating, we are not feminists, but we have to be feminine, right? I, I, I grab in that with me from tonight. If one thing I, I grab is that, you know, also be true to your passion, right? I, I think on the wine candies, uh, my message is together, we are stronger. Let's help each other to build, grow, and fulfill our purpose. We can and we will succeed. And ladies and gents, at the end of the day, I remember how Luke Kwamina said that in this platform. We want to leave this earth empty. We don't want to hold back on something that could have built up a sister, on something that could have uplift a sister, on something that could have made a sister life better off. Mm -hmm. Empty yourself, because when you get this type of responsibilities, it's not longer about what you want to pursue with this. It is not about your success anymore. It is not about you being on the spotlight anymore. It is not about the fame and the applauses. You know, some of these things will come along the work that you are doing. Your face has to be out there. Your voice has to be heard. But at the end of the day, what is the purpose of all of this? What is the purpose of all of this? I want to leave this earth empty. I don't want to carry nothing with me. And I was telling a few people today, and this is a, 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 a principle that Jimmy Hoyt, which is my business partner in this, my biggest even if our faces are not longer in women, the work has to continue. The mission mm -hmm. has to continue. And any women have to have that capacity to do this, to bring us together, to help us to build. And I want to actually close this uh, listening to Nisi, this is Nisi. I surprised you. I told you I was gonna try before the end of the campaign. This have been she can campaign. This have been let's talk entrepreneurship. This have been a platform, a space for you not to give up for you to know that you are not alone for you to know that if you are struggle as a female entrepreneur you have company and if we could have made it you are also going to make it so as nisi will say on her first message never give up oh look at look at our team want you to speed a verse come on nisi Close up this campaign with fire. Fire on the world, take it to my world. world. Fire on the world, relax and lose control. Control, 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 control. take it to my world. Fire on the world. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much to you all my lovely you. ladies. Thank you for having me so much. I wish your platform um, a lot of prosperity, positivity, and God's will. And I really appreciate and commend the work that you are doing and giving women and females a space to, to be seen and heard and also to, to just dive into their own passion and purpose. So it's, it's a really, really nice community that you're building. And I'm looking forward to see bigger and better things from the entire team and the community that we're building here. Awesome. And remember, if you actually want an opportunity to be part of this 
awesome community if you have a passion if you have a talent if you want to be known in this platform if you want to be showcased in future events we also want to hear from you just go to the comments and pull out this form send us your information tell us what is your business what are your expertise and uh, definitely we are going to keep in touch with you thank you thank you thank you so much um this has been the end of the she can campaign let's talk mm -hmm. entrepreneurship and women let's go out there and pull a sister out yeah. <laughs> bye bye Bye.